For a week in March of 2015, the Woodward Academy Knights made news for all of the right reasons. The boys basketball team qualified for the Iowa High School State Tournament for the first time in school history. In fact, they became the first boys treatment facility to ever qualify for state. Many wondered what kind of school Woodward Academy was. They would soon find out. Over the next week, every major news outlet in the state visited campus and put Woodward Academy on display as the Knights prepared to make history and to compete at Wells Fargo Arena. Welcome back. The Woodward Academy Knights are making their first state tournament appearance. It's a chance for these young men to continue what has been a stellar season, backed by arguably one of the loudest student sections I've heard. They're the feel-good story of the year and trying to make sure it doesn't end tonight. Woodward Academy sits on the grounds of the Woodward Resource Center, 25 miles northwest of Des Moines. It is a nonprofit operation that opened in 1995 and takes boys between the ages of 12 and 18 who are involved in the juvenile court system. All of the students have been court ordered to attend Woodward Academy. Over the past 20 years, it has grown to a capacity of 263 students, which is larger than some area high schools. In many ways, it is like a typical high school with core and elective classes and over the past seven years, high school athletics. We do have very normal kids out here um, that uh, probably in their public high school, there are guys that go to school every day that have done some of the exact same things our guys have done. Uh, the difference would be our boys got caught. The Knights qualified for state by overcoming a 16-point deficit in the district championship game on a momentum-shifting dunk and game-winning three-pointer. A few days later in the sub-state game, they went on a 21-0 run in the fourth quarter to a team they had lost to twice in the regular season. They were destined to be at state. Coming up tonight at 8.15 is one of the best stories in the entire state, Woodward Academy, the eight seed in Class 2A, making their first state tournament appearance. But it's a little bit of a different feel because Woodward Academy is a, a treatment facility school for, for young men, and it's the first time an academy school has ever made the state tournament. That game is tonight at 8.15, and joining me now is the head coach of Woodward Academy, Dustin Sperling. And Coach, uh, what does this mean to the kids uh, to make it here to this state tournament, something that many people probably didn't think was possible. It's big for them. It's a uh, sense of accomplishment for these guys, a sense of belonging and part of a big family. And I think that it'll be something that they remember for the rest of their lives. Now, this is kind of a unique situation for you because a lot of a lot of these guys are one and done. They're at the school for a year and then they're out. So what challenges does that present you uh, in coaching new kids every year? It's challenging on the basketball side of things. As far as working at the academy and working with these young men, it's very rewarding, though, being able to see the new faces come in, and then most of them leave with, uh, with better mindsets and, like I said, young men. Now, according to the seedings, Woodward Academy is a big underdog against Applington Parkersburg, but I, caught, I talked to Coach Sperling, and he says his boys are ready. They are not phased by being the eighth seed, and they will give it a go tonight at the state tournament. Win or lose, Keith, it's a great story no matter what. And they're also asking for anybody who doesn't have a favorite team at state, maybe adopt Woodward Academy because there won't be many parents or family at the game. They say there will be a huge student section, not a lot of parents, so if you don't have anything to do tonight, come out to Wells Fargo Arena and cheer on a team that likes to get up and down the floor just like Iowa State does. They put up a lot of points and they shoot a lot of threes. It should be a lot of fun. They'll have their hands full with uh, Applington Parkersburg. And people did come out. From television to radio to the internet, people saw the story and went to Wells Fargo to cheer on the Knights for not only what they were doing on the court, but for what they represented off of it. They're not going to have very many people here. You know, everybody else, you see there's a lot of people here, but when it comes to their game, there's probably not going to be a lot of blue and white people there. So we came to support them as well. Woodward Academy may not have the fan base that other schools have, but it does have the same spirit. The Academy bus 213 students to Wells Fargo Arena and helped sell a total of 425 tickets for the game. 
many of which went to staff members and their families. The student section had been loud all season, and they made themselves known on this night. Right now in the Metro, a historic night at Wells Fargo Arena. KCCI's Ryan Smith is there live with the story of one team who beat the odds both on and off the court to get there. Ryan. What an incredible journey for these young men. From the court of law to the basketball court here at Wells Fargo Arena, Woodward Academy has overcome so many obstacles this season to get to the school's first ever state tournament game. This year's team picture will no doubt be one to frame. It's been a dream since I was a kid to uh, come play state basketball. Three. The faces and names that make up Woodward Academy's roster will be different next year. But even so, this special group of teens bonded together by a juvenile court order are making state history. <laughs> Support for a team that values traits like leadership and goodwill before raw talent. Behavior is our number one priority. We make sure that the students, you know, understand what our core values are before they're able to step foot on the floor and represent us as a school. We have to represent ourselves and our school and our team. Okay? We can't go out there, nothing, anything that's outside of the ordinary as far as bad sportsmanship, showboating, anything like that, you can guarantee that you'll be sitting on the bench. If it happens at the end of the game, win or lose, and we don't have good sportsmanship, then you won't be playing again. Okay? If we lose, then there'll be accountabilities back on campus. That makes sense? One of the most impressive components to the Knights historic run to the state tournament is that they never played together before this season. It's overwhelming to be a part of something bigger than myself, because now it's a, it's a team. And, it, and before that, a year ago, like we didn't know each other. And so now it's, it's all just came together. This special group of teens bonded together by a juvenile court order are making state history. <laughs> Senior guard Preston Britton was eligible to depart the academy last week, but in an unprecedented move, opted to stay. I knew right at the beginning of the year that we had something special, that uh, we could do something with this team as long as we worked together and did the right things. There's a lot of pride in being a work I mean, um, um, a lot of dedication throughout everything you do, whether it's, you know, not basketball, whether it's basketball or not. Why not us, right? We're here. We've talked about it. This was our goal. We're here. Why not us? We can win Class 2A, right? Yes, we can sir. win the championship. There's no doubt in my mind. I know that you guys are good enough to do it. We just have to go out there and execute. We go out there and execute and we'll be fine, all right? Yes, and then last but not least, remember we're a family. We represent one another, okay? We go out there, we fight for each other, we represent one another. Let's go get Let's it. go! Oh. Nice on me, nice on three. One, two, three. Nice. Nice. As much of a great story that the Knights were leading up to the state tournament, eventually they would have to tip off and play four quarters of basketball. The pace was quick to start the game, and Woodward Academy came out to an early lead. It was up and down for much of it, but the Knights led after the first quarter of play. Applington Parkersburg was the number one seeded team in 2A and proved worthy of that ranking. They were big underneath and crashed the boards hard, but overcoming adversity is in the Knights' DNA. Whether in the district game, at substate, or off the court, these students knew how to react to difficult situations, and being down six at half was not a problem. That's nothing. That's three stops. That's what that is. That's three stops. We have, to beat, we have to beat them to a spot and not let them dribble drive wherever they want. We do those things, let's go out and play our style. I still have five timeouts. Leave it all on the floor, guys. Go, go, go. It is crazy to think that just a couple months ago, the Woodward Academy players were figuring out how to play as a team. Now at the end of the season, they are relying on those few months of preparation on the biggest stage.
As the second half continued, Applington Parkersburg widened their lead and the Knights were coming to a realization that their season was coming to an end. When practice started in November, every team has dreams and aspirations of how their season could unfold. No one in the state thought that a residential facility for delinquent boys could rise to the level of playing in the state tournament at Wells Fargo Arena. But shedding labels and overcoming adversity are characteristics of a night. And this season, they proved everybody wrong and owned it. I know everybody's hanging their heads because it sucks to lose, but you guys have nothing to be ashamed of for sure. You guys should be very, very proud of yourselves, all right? I love every one of you guys, and this is this is a family forever. It don't just stop because we lost tonight, all right? Yes, if any of you guys ever need anything, you know the coaches are here for you guys, all right? Good job, bro. I need you three. We have to go talk to the media, okay? You guys ready?